What if I told you BMW once built an engine so wild, so ambitious, it nearly bankrupted their M division? An engine that revved like a Formula One car, screamed past 8,000 RPM, and defied everything the brand stands for today. This wasn't just any engine. This was the S85 V10, the heart of the E60 M5 and E63 M6, a naturally aspirated masterpiece that marked the peak of BMW's engineering insanity. Born from Formula One DNA and built in an era before emissions, hybrids, and electric silence took over. The S85 wasn't made to be efficient. It was made to terrify you. But behind its glorious sound and soul-stirring power, there was a dark side, one that would haunt BMW's M division for years to come. On. The year was 2005, a time when BMW's M division had something to prove. Mercedes had unleashed the supercharged E55 AMG, a Torca monster that ruled the Autobahn. Audi had its Quattro technology and all-weather confidence. But BMW? They wanted something different, something that screamed passion, not just numbers. And that's when they turned to their Formula One engineers. At the time, BMW's F1 engines were revving close to 19,000 RPM, pushing the limits of what internal combustion could do. The M engineers asked a daring question. What if we take that Formula One DNA and make it street legal? The result was the S85 BMW, a 5.0 liter, naturally aspirated V10 engine that produced 500 horsepower, 384 elbow T of torque, and revved to an insane 8250 RPM. Each cylinder had its own throttle body. The block was aluminum. The response was instant. And the sound? It wasn't just a roar. It was a symphony of mechanical violence, something that made your spine tingle every time you hit redline. The E60 M5 wasn't just a fast car. It was a declaration. It didn't care about being refined or easy to live with. It was built for drivers who wanted to feel everything, the vibration, the chaos, the soul. It was BMW's way of saying, we can build madness and make it beautiful. Now, let's break down what made the S85 V10 so ahead of its time and so dangerous to BMW's bottom line. This engine was completely bespoke, not a single major component shared with any other BMW power plant. It featured four camshafts, 10 individual throttle bodies, and a semi-dry sump lubrication system that allowed it to corner at high G-forces without starving for oil. It was a racing engine trapped inside a luxury sedan's body. The red line sat at 8,250 RPM, but the way it reached that point was breathtaking. Throttle response was razor sharp, and every gear pull felt like an explosion of sound and fury. It was as if the engine was alive, begging you to push harder every time you shifted. BMW didn't just rely on raw power, they infused the S85 with intelligence. It used ionic current knock sensing, a system that analyzed each cylinder's combustion in real time to adjust ignition timing individually, technology derived straight from BMW's Formula One program. This wasn't just an engine, it was a statement of engineering arrogance, the kind that said, we'll build it because we can. But every stroke of genius has a dark side. Because when you pack F1 level tech into a road car, the road eventually fights back. The S85 V10 was magnificent when it was happy, but catastrophic when it wasn't. Rod bearing failures became infamous. Owners would hear a faint knock, and suddenly, boom, a $20,000 repair bill. Throttle actuators failed without warning, leaving cars in limp mode. The Vano system, BMW's variable valve timing, added another layer of complexity and risk. And then came the SMG transmission, a single-clutch automated gearbox that was meant to mimic F1 speed, 
but in reality felt clunky, jerky, and unpredictable at low speeds. Owning an S85-powered M5 or M6 wasn't just about driving. It was about commitment, emotional and financial. You didn't just buy one, you adopted it. You fed it premium fuel, expensive oil, and prayed it wouldn't eat itself alive. For every 8250 RPM scream of joy, there was a lingering fear. Will it start tomorrow? But that's also what made it special. It separated the casual driver from the true believer. The S85 demanded respect and punished arrogance. And when the E60 era ended, BMW quietly stepped back from this level of insanity. The experiment had pushed engineering to its edge, and the accountants couldn't handle the fallout. When BMW discontinued the E60 M5 in 2010, the automotive world felt it, the end of an era. The S85 was the last naturally aspirated M engine ever built. After that, turbos took over. The lesson BMW learned from the S85 was harsh but necessary. Emotion and precision engineering were not enough anymore. Customers wanted reliability, efficiency and lower emissions, things the V10 could never deliver. So BMW replaced madness with logic. The next M5, the F10, came with a twin-turbo S63 V8. It was faster, smoother, and far easier to live with. But enthusiasts immediately noticed something missing. Soul. Gone was the wail of ten cylinders echoing off a tunnel wall. Gone was the adrenaline rush of chasing 8,000 RPMs. The S63 was brilliant, but clinical. The S85, in contrast, was chaotic beauty. It represented the last time BMW let its engineers off the leash and paid the price for it. It became a legend not because it was perfect, but because it dared to be too much. It was BMW's Icarus moment, flying too close to the sun and getting burned beautifully. Today, the S85 is more than an engine. It's a myth whispered in every car meet, every M forum, every YouTube comment section. People still chase its sound, that spine-shivering metallic scream that no turbo engine can replicate. Collectors guard their E60 M5s like treasure. Tuners swap the S85 into older M3s just to bring that madness back to life. Yes, the maintenance is brutal, the repairs are expensive, but ask anyone who's driven one, and they'll tell you it's worth every penny, every sleepless night, every check engine light. Because the S85 wasn't designed to be perfect. It was designed to make you feel something, something primal, mechanical, and alive. It's the sound of a bygone era, when BMW built cars for drivers, not data. When red lines mattered more than range, and emotion outweighed efficiency. It may have been flawed, it may have been costly, but for one brief, glorious moment, BMW gave the world a glimpse of what automotive perfection feels like, not just what it measures. And while it nearly destroyed BMW's M division, it left behind a legacy that no turbo, hybrid, or EV will ever replace. So, what do you think? Was the S85 a masterpiece that went too far, or the last true expression of BMW's engineering soul? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you love deep dives into legendary engines like this, from the B58 to the S58 and beyond, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more untold stories of automotive power. There are machines. And then there are legends. Forged in the fires of precision engineering and molded by decades of dominance. This is the BMW M3 competition. Welcome to where passion meets performance. The road is more than just asphalt. And the drive, more than a destination.